Good morning, Northridge Kindergarten friends. Miss Scudero here. And today we're back with another math lesson where we'll be working with partners up to the number five. Now let's get started. Today's learning target is I can use my break apart stick to help me create number stories with partners up to five. Today you are going to be creating your own stories by looking at a picture to help you get some ideas. For today's lesson, you will need to make sure you have five counters. They can be pennies, pieces of dry cereal, anything small you have within your house. And you will also need one popsicle stick, pencil, or straw, something you may use as your break apart stick. Now please press pause so you can get a chance to gather your materials before we start today's lesson. Let's look at this picture and tell a story about the birds together, friends. There were three birds flying. Two more birds join them to fly. How many birds are flying all together? So first, what I want you to do is look back at the problem. It says three birds flying, which means we'll need three counters to start. Please place three counters down in front of you right now. Next, I want you to take your break apart stick and put it right next to them. Now let's go back to the problem and look at it. Two more birds join them to fly. So, let's add two more counters to the other side of the break apart stick. How many birds are flying all together? So friends, now we need to count up our counters. Let's do it together. One, two, three, four, five. That's right, five birds are flying together. Now let's try another one together. There were two children playing in the sandbox. Two more children want to join them to play. How many children will be playing in the sandbox all together? Okay, friends, so let's go and look at our first sentence in our problem. It says there's two children playing in the sandbox. So I need you to take two counters and place them right down in front of you. Now take that break apart stick and put it right down next to them. Let's go back and look at the problem for the next set of counters we will need. It says two more children want to join them to play. So that means let's get two more counters and be sure to place them on the right of your break apart stick, friends. Now, to find out how many children will be playing all together, what do we need to do? That's right, we need to count them up. Let's count them together. Ready? One two, three, four. There are four children that will be playing in the sandbox all together. Okay, friends, let's try one more together. There was one dump truck in the sandbox. The little girl brought two more in. How many dump trucks are now in the sandbox? So, friends, let's go back to the problem and look. How many dump trucks were in the sandbox to begin with? One, that's right, nice work. So let's put one counter down. Now, don't forget to put that break apart stick right to the right of it. Next, let's go back and look. How many did the little girl bring in? Two, good work. So let's take two more counters and put them to the right of the break apart stick, friends. Now, to figure out how many dump trucks all together, what do we need to do? Turn and tell your parent. Nice work, friends. We need to count them all up. Let's count them. One, two, three. There are three dump trucks now in the sandbox. Awesome work. Now it's your turn. I want you to try your best and do one. There were three children playing jump rope. One more child came over to play. How many children are playing jump rope now? Okay, friends, I want you to go back in the problem to find how many children there were at first so we know how many counters you need to put down first. I'm going to give you a minute, and I want you to tell your parents how many you think. If you said three, you were correct. Please place three counters down, and don't forget to put your break apart stick next to it. Now, let's go back in the problem and see... How many more came over to play? And I want you again to tell your parents. 
If you said one more child, you are correct again. So please place one counter down. Now, friends, I want you to count up all those counters to see how many children were playing. Four. Good job. You should have counted four counters, which means four children were playing jump rope. You will now do some work independently that you will post on Seesaw for your teacher to see. Parents, please have your child use their break apart stick and counters to create a story by looking at the pictures for ideas. Then write the total on the top. You are to post a video on Seesaw of you telling your teacher about your story problem. Good luck friends and we can't wait to see.